it's good everybody welcome back to the call of duty video today we have a real special one if you don't know right now at the exact same moment that i'm posting this video the black ops 6 direct is going to be happening over during the xbox games showcase during the showcase they're going to reveal black ops 6 in its entirety including campaign multiplayer and zombies also some brand new features that they've been working on over the past couple of years and you might be wondering how in the world do you know that the direct is just now starting it hasn't even been going on for 30 seconds you posted this video and you're already saying what they're talking about well believe it or not i have actually played black ops 6 last week activision flew out myself and some other creators to treyarch by the way shout out activision for that it was one of the coolest trips i've been on in a long time and as you guys know i am a huge black ops fanboy black ops 3 black ops 4 all that stuff it's very near and dear to me that's why we're literally playing blackout in today's video now before we get into anything i do have a little uh, gift for you guys uh, this is a little clip that i recorded specifically to show people that have never seen this before but in the lobby of treyarch they have some of the coolest setups i've ever seen as you guys can see we've got the wave gun uh, the juggernaut mini fridge from the black ops 3 special edition we have the mystery box from the black ops 4 special edition there's like these katanas uh, so many different awards from various award shows over the years of black ops and treyarch games i don't know man just thought it was really cool and i felt like a lot of you guys that are uh, cod fanboys would love to see this basically in this video my plan is to explain to you guys and tell you guys everything that i learned and did while i was at treyarch now there's one thing one rule we got to go ahead and lay down before we get into it i can't actually show you guys any gameplay and also i can't discuss exactly what i played all I can say is that I played Black Ops 6, and that's, yeah, that's really all I can say about that. But I can't tell you guys everything they explained to us. And again, they're going to show this in the reveal here in a little bit. But uh, I just thought I'd make my own little video and tell you guys just because I'm so excited, man. First off, I want to get some bad news out of the way. Uh, you might not care about this. And some of you might be severely disappointed but there is no carry forward in black ops 6 regarding like your, your bundles your operator skins your blueprints all that stuff uh, it will not carry over to black ops 6 but you will carry over to Warzone. So whenever they integrate Black Ops 6 to Warzone, it's kind of like how it was, you know, with Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone 1, and then moving over to Black Ops Cold War, you'll still have like all your bundles and your skins from Modern Warfare 2 and 3 in Warzone. But as far as like the premium experience of Black Ops 6, like multiplayer, uh, zombies, all that stuff, you will not actually be able to use your bundles and your skins and stuff like that. You got to start over. So a lot of people might be disappointed. Some people might not care. Or if you have, you know, common sense, you probably already knew it was going to be like that. So and now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> hopefully you guys aren't too sad about that. We can get into like the actual good stuff. First, theater mode is going to be returning to Black Ops 6. They did show us a little screenshot of what it currently looks like in the game. And it kind of looks like Black Ops 3's theater mode. At least that's the best way I can describe it. Maybe they all look the same i'm not sure off the top of my head but it did remind me of like a, a black ops 3 style theater mode now let's go ahead and touch base on campaign how we are going to go over multiplayer and zombies here in a bit but i want to talk a little bit about the campaign i'm basically going to explain to you guys exactly how they explained it to us and then i'll talk a little bit about my experience and what exactly i saw uh, while i was there so it's set after the events of black ops cold war and tied to the 1980s flashbacks of black ops 2 black ops 6 takes place in the early 1990s during a period of transition and upheaval in global politics characterized by the end of the cold war a deeply engaging campaign developed by raven software that delivers an epic spy thriller single player narrative that's unbound by the rules of engagement and immersive underlying government conspiracy players will traverse the harsh russian tundra vast middle eastern desert southern europe and the u.s in a race against time iconic characters frank woods and russell adler return uh, pretty much you've gone rogue as these two characters with all new allies including troy marshall and jane harrow and 90s gadgets and equipment allow additional possibilities for combat and stealth now i read that directly from the notes they sent me just so you guys can get a, a kind of a vibe of what campaigns want to be like uh, i'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys exactly what i think now it looks freaking amazing pretty much they showed us gameplay of two different missions uh, one of the missions was this like motorcycle mission that you guys are seeing a screenshot of on the screen right now it was pretty cool uh the two soldiers that i mentioned troy marshall and jane hero kind of pull up uh, with orders from frank woods he was like yo i'm getting a message from one of my old friends this being adler and then uh, adler is trying to expose this like government group called the pantheon or some kind of 
hidden uh, group power at B called the Pantheon. You should already know what that is if you've done the bunker and war zone. Uh, the computer was obviously Adler sending that message. The other mission that we saw was actually an open world mission in Iraq. By the way, uh, the person in this screenshot is Park. I know she's back. She survived. I think that's the canon decision is that you save her. Whatever. I think a while back there was a leak regarding the campaign being open world. You guys probably have questions about this. And this was open world. This specific mission that we saw. It's in Iraq. It's open world. You have basically like a war zone tack map showing you different objectives. Uh, side objectives. Main objectives. And using yourself, your equipment, your brain. You pretty much attack the mission in whatever way you want. Basically the campaign works like this. Uh, you've got your safe house where you have like uh, characters that you can talk to probably like your guns, your loadout, whatever. And then there's an evidence board where you actually start the missions. This is where you load up the normal missions in the campaign. Then you have normal missions, which is obviously your normal linear Call of Duty campaign. And also these open world missions, like we just spoke about the one that we saw being the Iraq mission where you're in Iraq, you have like side objectives, main objectives. And again, you can just kind of like decide how to attack it however you want. And there's going to be multiple missions like this, but the entire campaign is not open world. I feel like it's a mix of both, which is pretty cool. That's all we got regarding campaign. Let's go ahead and touch base a little bit regarding Black Ops 6 multiplayer. First things first, Prestige is back. Yes, you can Prestige in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. The way they explained it to us, it sounded a lot like the Prestige system in Black Ops 3. There's no more season levels or season caps or anything like that. Uh, on day one, you're gonna have 55 military ranks and then you Prestige, you can Prestige up to 10 times. And then on that Prestige Master, that uh, 10th or 11th prestige you do reach up to 1000 levels on day one so you have access to all thousand levels all 10 prestiges as soon as the game comes out there's also going to be like rewards and stuff like that obviously for prestiging and reaching prestige master at launch there's going to be 16 maps in the game all these maps are new and unique none of these maps are remasters or anything like that all of these maps are going to be traditional 6v6 treyarch multiplayer style maps and for these maps are considered strike maps they're like basically small maps kind of like they're very small maps as far as i'm aware and these maps are not like big maps cut up into a small map they're all very unique their own creation but they can be played as 1v1 2v2 or 6v6 a brand new movement system is being added to black ops 6 it's called omni movement and i'm going to try to describe it to you guys it's going to be very hard uh, it's like it, it just sounds insane but basically you can sprint forward at every call of duty and now you can sprint backwards you can sprint to the left to the right uh, you can dive in any direction there's a brand new prone ability where uh, normally if you go prone and kind of spin around you are uh, you're kind of just like rotating your character on his chest but now like if you turn you kind of like lay on your back and then rotate back to your chest uh, when you're running like i said you can sprint backwards and you can literally dive in all these different directions it literally looks like an action movie i've got this screenshot where you can see people diving and that's actually what it looks like in game now even when you're sprinting backwards you dive backwards and you land on your back and you're like posted up laying down on your back with your gun dude it's insane and i know how crazy that sounds you know sprinting backwards uh, diving all these different things sounds insane but trust me it is as crazy as it sounds like it looks like a movie but it all plays extremely well it felt great to use and it was really cool kind of like relearning the movement and chaining different movements together you guys will see when you get a chance to actually play but i promise it's insane and one more feature i want to go ahead and show you guys is the hud editor so if you imagine in call of duty mobile some of you guys may not have actually played cod mobile but in cod mobile you can actually edit where different things are on your display like you can put you know the map in a different location you can basically move all the different elements of the heads up display on your screen and you can now do that in black ops six like if you want the map uh, to be on the right side and your ammo to be on the bottom left side you could do that they showed us a screenshot of one where like everything was in the center of the screen but it's pretty cool and it kind of adds for more customization in the game i can't really think of anything else too major regarding multiplayer there's a few small details regarding weapons like i think there's 12 brand new weapons in multiplayer that 
have never been in any Call of Duty ever, which is pretty cool. Also, obviously, there are returning weapons uh, from past Black Ops games. And there's a brand new change to create a class. Uh, right now, if you put a melee weapon in your class, it will be your secondary or even your primary if that's how you're rocking. And now in Black Ops 6, there's a specific slot in your loadout for your melee weapon. And then when you're playing in game, you can actually hold down your melee to pull out the melee weapon you have equipped. And it doesn't actually take up a slot like in your creative class. So you could have like your primary, which would be like, you know, a sniper, your secondary, which is you know, your rocket launcher or a pistol. And then you have your melee weapon, which you can pull out in game, which I thought that was pretty cool. Black Ops 6 is going to release on October 25th. That's pretty much all I got for you guys regarding campaign and multiplayer. If you're wondering why we didn't talk about zombies, I'm making a different video for Black Ops 6 Zombies, and that will be live on the channel right now. I'll put a link in the description down below. I guess I can go ahead and show y'all one thing. So in Zombies, there is a set crew now you have gregory weaver you have elizabeth gray and there's two brand new characters which i will explain in my zombies video that's basically gonna do it though go check out the black ops 6 zombies video let me know what you guys are most excited for regarding black ops 6 in the comments below drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see y'all soon for the call of duty video man